Oh boy, this has been a long time coming. Guys, I'm about to share with you the top 10 things that I think everyone should go and do or see in Okinawa, Japan. My name's Matt. I've been living in Okinawa, Japan for the last three years and I've seen every inch of this island, I think. And so after three years, I think it's finally time to tell you guys what my top 10 things I think everyone should do are in Okinawa. TripAdvisor is not gonna be happy with this list. So let's go ahead and start off with number 10. I'm gonna actually go from what I think is the worst, but made the list, so it's not the worst, but the worst on my list to the best on my list. So you'll have to watch the end of the video if you wanna see the best thing to do. Number 10, ready? American Village, just making the cut. But the reason I put it on this list is because there's a lot of like shopping and arcades and stuff there. So if you really wanna get that authentic taste of not necessarily Okinawa, I guess that it kind of is Okinawa, but like Japan with like an American mix. There's a lot of American military around that area. So they have arcades there and tons of restaurants, really good restaurants. It's right on the water. It's very pretty. The only reason it's number 10 on this list is because I think for me as a local, it's a little bit overcrowded. And once you see it a few times, like, a, you know, it kind of loses its appeal for a local. But if you're coming to visit, I do think you should come and check it out. Also guys, I don't know if you notice, I'm in like this shrine area. There's a shrine right here and there's like water running down all the walls and stuff. But there's a lot of stuff like this in Okinawa. Hidden gym. This next one, number nine, is actually something that I think you should definitely do. And it really could be number one on the list, but the only reason I put it at number nine is it's not really anything specific to see or do, but I think you need to get a car, you need to rent a car and just drive around the island. Like that's something you need to do because just driving along these roads, just randomly on the coasts of the islands of Okinawa, you'll pass by, especially if you're way up north on the northern side of the island, you'll pass by so many pretty like beaches and forests and trees and you'll just discover stuff that you want to do just pull off to the side of the road and just do it you need to just explore for yourself i honestly think again this should be number one like definitely do this when you come just rent something and go around the island yourself discover okinawa for yourself do you like shopping number eight is perfect for you that's Koksai Street, Koksai Dori in Naha City. Now, what a lot of people end up doing when they come to Okinawa is they end up, uh, they fly into Naha and then they stay in Naha. They rent a ho hotel or something. And you'll probably likely just see Koksai Dori anyway, but it's the main shopping area in Okinawa, specifically for tourists. Uh, it's a long strip of road that just has tons of shops and it goes into like alleyways and stuff. It's actually, it's actually a pretty cool shopping area, to be honest. Very uh, like Japanese-esque, um, but tailored to Okinawa. And there's some cool shirts and some cool trinkets and stuff you could get. You could literally spend an entire day, especially if you've never been here before, just walking around Koksai Dori, uh, that street, and just shopping. So if you like shopping, Number eights for you, Koksai Dori, uh, Naha City, Okinawa. One thing I do wanna quickly mention about traveling to Okinawa is that I see a lot of people, when they come to Okinawa, they end up uh, staying in Naha, which is the main city in Okinawa. And Naha is cool, but it's just kind of a small, uh, like Tokyo, I guess. I don't know, it's Okinawa's version of like a Japanese city, so. If you're going to other places in Japan and especially seeing the city, Naha is just kind of like a worse version of Tokyo or Osaka or something. So you're not really getting the Okinawa experience. What I think you need to do is go out and you're on a tropical island. Like that's why people come to Okinawa. You need to come out and see all kinds of things. And I want to quickly mention that Okinawa is a very driving place. Unlike the rest of Japan that has trains to go everywhere, you kind of have to have a car to see things here in Okinawa. Luckily for you, if you don't feel like renting a car, if you're not comfortable driving in Japan on the left side of the road or right side or whatever, it's opposite. Me and my wife and some of my friends and stuff are actually doing a, we're gonna start a tour company of Okinawa. And so the idea being that myself or my wife or maybe some of my friends or something, or maybe all of us, who knows, will come pick you up in Naha with the car, we'll, we'll rent a car, you know, get a nice car, right? 
and uh, we'll come pick you up and we'll just hang out and show you around the island. We could go to the hidden gems. We could also go to the noteworthy places that I'm mentioning in this list. We just wanna hang out and show you guys around. So if you're interested in touring the island with one of us, the link's in the description. All right, so number seven, I put... Guys, I wanna butt in here. I was about to say Okinawa World, but after some careful consideration, I filmed this video a week ago and I've been thinking about my answers. I just wanna make sure they're good. And I'm gonna change this to Ryukyu Muda, which is like Ryukyu uh, Village. And Ryukyu Village, similar to Okinawa World, but I think it's better, it's a better place to go to if you want that uh, authentic, historical Ryukyu experience. What you may or may not know is that Okinawa used to be its own kingdom, separate from Japan, separate from everyone. It was like its own country. It was called the Ryukyu Kingdoms. Prior to the war and prior to Japan owning it and all that, it was a thriving kingdom by itself. It had its own culture, its own food, and its own language. Everything was like its own. And Ryukyu Muda is a place for you to experience what Okinawa was like before it was taken over by Japan and all that stuff. You can see the real historical culture of it. So go to Ryukyu Muda. You can also see traditional Okinawan dances. You'll see traditional Okinawan uh, houses, how they built stuff. Okinawa toilets, which are pretty much not the fanciest thing. You kind of just poop in a trough and pigs eat it. But yeah, if you want to see all that stuff, go to Ryukyu Muda, check out traditional Okinawa. Speaking of Okinawa history, number six is going to Peace Prayer Park, Peace Memorial Park. If you don't know, really quick synopsis, uh, during the war, uh, the Okinawa War was actually one of the brutal and bloodiest uh, battles in the, the world in the war. Uh, something like 130 or 140,000 people lost their lives in the span of like a few days or a few weeks or something. Correct me if I'm getting the details wrong, but what I want you to understand is that in Okinawa during the war, it's like the worst place to be. And what Peace Memorial Park is, is it's this huge park that was built upon the Okinawa suicide cliffs. During the war, there was a lot of Okinawan mothers especially jumping off these cliffs into the ocean because the Japanese were telling them that the Americans would come and like, torture them, basically. And now they built this park, like a memorial park there uh, for the service, and there's stones. There's a museum about the war, which is really cool, you should check it out. And there's also, uh, I don't know if they're granite or whatever, but there's like stone, the whole park is just covered in stones, and on the stones, there's names of everyone that lost their life during the war in Okinawa. Not just Japanese and Okinawans, but there's Korean names, there's American names, there's Chinese names, there's a lot of people involved in this, and a lot of people died in Okinawa. It's something to see, it's something to like, really, if you wanna know what really happened here, it's crazy. Also, since you've made it to number six, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in this bonus one, and that's, if you like ghost hunting, come to Okinawa. If, you, if you're into the spiritual stuff, because of what happened here, this, oh, this, Island is just so spiritual. If you believe in ghosts and you like the whole ghost hunting thing, check it out. This has got to be one of the most haunted places in the world. It has to be because of what happened here. Okay, so now, speaking of Peace Memorial Park, uh, that's actually built on a cape. A cape being like a cliff overlooking the ocean, right? Like a corner of a cliff overlooking the ocean. And that's number five is you should actually check out all the capes in Okinawa. Okinawa has a lot of really cool capes. Uh, cape uh, Manzamo is actually one of the most popular capes. If you Google Okinawa, you'll actually probably see it. The capes are really pretty. If you want to see really good views and you love photography and stuff of the ocean in Okinawa and like cliff sides with beautiful, beautiful blue water, uh, go check out all the capes in Okinawa. Again, you'll probably have to rent a car or just have us drive you there. But yeah, the capes in Okinawa are really pretty. There's a lot of them all throughout the island. Okay, number four, something else that Okinawa has a lot of, and this actually surprised me. I didn't actually know this until I started living here, and that's castles. Okinawa has so many castles, and not really castles, but they're ruins, right? Because of the war, or because even before that. Uh, but like I said, Okinawa used to be its own kingdom called the Ryukyu Kingdoms, and every little section of Okinawa, like 
people built these castles. The main one that I think you should go to, although it burned down a few years ago, they've been rebuilding it for the last three or four years, uh, but that Shuri Castle in Shuri, that's a city, that one is the only one that's been maintained. They rebuilt it to how it used to look. There's so many, a lot of uh, parks in Okinawa are actually built upon old castle ruins. And I think all the castles have absolutely amazing views of Okinawa. Like some of the best views that you will see, find in Okinawa are at these castle ruins. Go on a castle tour when you come to Okinawa. They're all ruins. You like being outside and you like seeing old structures and stones and stuff. Like some of these things are, you know, 800, 900, thousand years old, right? And you could walk, they're just parks. You walk around, they have great views. Speaking of views, I'm, uh, there's a lot of, a lot of great views in Okinawa. I mean, this isn't anywhere special. This is, I'm just walking down a hill. But you can see the ocean back there, mountains and city and stuff. So, but yeah, the castles have the best views. Really quick, guys, too, if you like my Okinawa hat, uh, this is actually Ryukyu Style, our brand RyukyuStyle.com. You can check it out in the description, get one yourself. And guys, we've made it to the top three things that I think everyone should do in Okinawa. Number three being the Churaumi Aquarium. Yes. You knew this list couldn't happen without me mentioning the Chuda Umi Aquarium. So Chuda Umi Aquarium is special because it's actually one of the largest aquariums in the world. In fact, in 2004, I believe, or 2002 maybe, when it was built, it was the largest aquarium in the world. You can see things like whale sharks, which a lot of aquariums don't actually have uh, because they don't have tanks big enough, right? But Chuda Umi has a few of them. I think they used to have three, now they have two, one died or something. Touring the aquarium maybe takes a few hours if you take your time, three or four, but the entire Ocean Expo Park, which is where the aquarium is, and I would include all of that into the aquarium area, uh, you could spend all day there. All right, so number two, second best thing to do in Okinawa, in my opinion, Go snorkeling and go diving. We just said how Okinawa has one of the best aquariums in the world. Well, guess what? It's one of the number one spots in the world to go diving as well. There's so much coral and so much tropical fish and wildlife and the, the water here is so clear compared to other places that I've snorkeled. Uh, you can just see for a long time and all the fish are super colorful and tropical. You have to be careful though because there's a lot of poisonous stuff in the water but just wear like a jumpsuit or something and make sure you have water shoes. But you have to go snorkeling and you know what? If you wanna try scuba diving, uh, Okinawa is one of the best places in the world to actually get certified to scuba dive because it's so cheap. It's only a few hundred dollars. I've actually never gone scuba diving so I'm kind of being hypocritical here. Go scuba diving or at least, at the very least, go snorkeling. Snorkeling's so easy. You could just go to a store, buy a freaking goggles and a snorkel thing for 10, 20 bucks, right? And go to the ocean and check out these fish and stuff. It's one of the best places in the world to do it. You could swim way out. It's, it's beautiful, guys. Check it out. Number one, we're at number one. Guys, this is the number one thing that I think everyone should do in Okinawa. And it's, it's something that's so obvious. Oh yeah, go to the beach. Check out the beaches in Okinawa. Like, this is why you come. Honestly, if you're coming to Japan, right? Japan, you go see like the, the weeaboo stuff, right? The anime and you go see Tokyo and a lot of the Japan nature, but guess what? Okinawa is Japan's version of Hawaii. Japanese people that live in Japan vacation here. They come here for their tropical vacation. So this is Japan's version of Hawaii. It's a tropical island. You have to go to the beaches. The beaches are beautiful. They're clean, they're nice, the ocean's amazing, the water's really warm, go inside. Even if you come in the winter, uh, the water's still warm. And if you come to Okinawa and you think the oceans are absolutely beautiful here, which they are, you gotta go to some of the other Okinawa islands. Go to Ishigaki or Miyako. The water is so blue, I can't even describe it. It's so sapphire, bright crystal blue. If, if you have not been to a tropical island and this is your first experience, like you won't believe how blue this water is. Like it, 
it literally looks like it's from a fairy tale. It's amazing and it's so clear. Guys, go to the beaches in Okinawa. That's why you're here. That's, that's what Okinawa is known for is their tropical beaches. So guys, that was my top 10 things that I think everyone should do in Okinawa. And remember, if you wanna to tour the island with either me or my wife or one of, one of my friends or something, like we're, we're gonna start this tour company. It's not open yet, but check out the links in the description. And uh, you know, maybe we could drive around with you, hang out, chat, chill. You know, it'll be fun time. Editor Matt here. I just wanted to add that if you have any other cool places to go in Okinawa, leave them in the comments down below. Maybe I haven't checked them out and I'd love to check them out or maybe I just couldn't think of anything. I don't know, I was just walking and those were the things that I thought of. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. I just wanna mention that if you've been to Okinawa and you're kind of upset by this list, you're like, what are you talking about? There's way cooler things in Okinawa. Listen, this is not my favorite things to do in Okinawa list. That'll be another video. This is the list that I think everyone should do at least once when they come to Okinawa. So when you come to Okinawa, come see these things, right? And then you can explore the hidden gems and stuff. But if you go to Okinawa and you haven't really seen these things, I don't know, it's just kind of kind of weird, you know? That That's what this list is, it's just like, if you didn't see these things, it's just weird. Thanks so much, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.